<laughs> Nick Kurtz is here. Before I'm introduced, 96. Uh, my, my receiver coach at Girls Small College, K.O. Kiela Louis. What? Boom. He was your receiver coach? That's part of the reason why I'm here. The wow. Legend. I got, another, I got another good one. Yeah. So it's not only to him. See, I always had – okay, I didn't even realize it. See, I didn't know what BYU was growing up. I didn't know what it was in high school, nothing. I finally found out when I started getting recruited. But little did I know I had connections everywhere. I, I didn't realize this, but my uh, high school receiver coach when I was a sophomore, um, he hit me up just recently, and I, he told me he played football at BYU. I didn't even realize that he played football at BYU. Hmm. Then we had um, – his name's Coach Forti. Uh, first name I can't think of, but it's Forti. Okay. Then we had uh, K.O., and he was my receiver coach at Grossmont. Wow. And then one of the one of the all time greats, Leon White, uh, yeah. linebacker. Yeah. He was my brother's best friend's father. Nick. So I had ties. It's it's it's, in my, it's always been in my blood. I I just didn't know. It was meant to be. It was meant to be the whole time. It I was even meant know. to be. Darren, Forte, eighties. I honestly. That, that sound familiar? I'm looking him up. Let's see if there's <laughs> no that's picture. That's gotta be. That's gotta be it's him. Gotta be him right? That's gotta be him. Yeah. From Sandy? Receiver. Yeah. From Sandy, Utah. I'm oh, his, that's him. Oh, Eldon's kid. Eldon is one of the all-time greats here as see, well. Played in the 70s. See, it's yeah. just been in my blood. I don't even know it. The stars have aligned. Uh, they have. Clearly they have. for Nick Kurtz to wear the stretch Y <laughs> at BYU. <laughs> that's awesome. Welcome officially to Studio B, by the way. I'm glad you interjected right there. We yeah. learned something very interesting Good. there. Have you been in you. here? I have been in here for certain things, but I've never been invited to your guys' show. You know, just a couple of calls. Oh, Nick! Yeah. Never really get invited. It's all good, though. I get it's it. It's right after practice, bro. No, no, I get it. Not enough touchdowns. That's, that's cool, though. <laughs> this year. Somehow Devon <laughs> Blackman made it in with no touchdowns. Okay, I don't no, know see? what happened. Yeah, because yeah, no, he had the swag. That's what it was. He had the exactly. swag, the comedy. I get it. Yeah, your dad's going to give us a hard time oh. about that. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing it. Dude, you guys got to bring him on here. That's what you got to do. <laughs> He's giving me all sorts of good stuff. Uh, Namely, uh, a nickname for your good buddy Mitch Matthews, Mad uh, Dog uh, Matthews, uh, who is uh, competing with Kansas City right now. What are the conversations with uh, your your best friend and your old roommate like now that he's trying to make it in the NFL? Yeah, um, it's been really cool because he's kind of like trying to set the path for us. You know, BYU wide receivers, we've been trying to set the path, you know, for the future, and hopefully, you know, this class can also be a part of that. We can start getting guys drafted out of here because it's been unfortunate to see. You know, guys not getting drafted. But uh, it's awesome because he sends me film with him. You know, he shows me, you know, things that he's been working on and whatnot. And it's just cool to see at the next level. And for me, it's like I'm getting an early head start. So I think it's going to pay off throughout the year. And, you know, it's, it's made me work a lot harder this year because um, I've realized, you know, this is my last chance at it. So what's the mindset for you with that last chance um, kind of ideology of you hurt your, I, th I think, uh, you were you were injured and then Richard. Yeah. What was the injury? It was, again? It was my my left uh, fifth metatarsal, so my foot pretty That's much right. broke the bone. So yeah. we thought that was going to be your junior year. Uh, yeah, and, but here you are in 2016. Mm -hmm. So that ended up being a really good thing for me because um, it gave me this extra year. And I mean, you could even ask a dude like Devon. Like it goes by fast when you're in junior college, especially him. He got here in summer, and just next thing you know, you know your career at BYU is over. And so for me, it was kind of cool because even though it was a struggle, you know, I gained this entire year where not only was I able to, to, to learn a lot on the field and give me a chance to grow, but also off the field, you know, I was able to get into the Marriott School, which I, would, I, I wasn't going to do if I didn't have this extra year. Um, and so it's, it's kind of helped me out a lot, and I've enjoyed my time here. And, you know, every day is just a blessing here, and I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here. How do you feel about the multitude of changes now? I mean, you've it's crazy from day one when you got here to now where we are going into your senior season as a third year at BYU. Uh, <laughs> things have changed. Yeah, what has it been like you to pro for you to process all that? I, I think that it's actually my fault that, uh, you know, we keep – here's what it is. Our strength coaches, I've been here for three years, and I've had three different strength coaches. So I think it's because I'm still skinny, you know. <laughs> they're just getting fired. It's really based off of my, my strength. <laughs> Well, how do you are you trying to gain weight? I, I I don't know if you could tell, but I actually have gained some weight because I, I was about uh, I, was, I was around 205 last year, and now I'm pushing like 212, and I'm trying to get to 215, and then if I get to 215, I'm gonna keep trying to go. So because I mean that's that's something that I definitely need to to get. Are you on the wake up at 2 a.m. and eat a peanut butter See, that, that sandwich I'm not, deal? I'm not on that, but I'm working with Dan. Dan's our nutritionist, and he's been uh, helping me out a ton. Um, and I, you know, so that's one of those things I was like, hey, I got to start getting serious about this and start trying to really put on weight because it's hard when you're tall like me. Maybe I'll be that shooting guard you guys need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, BYU <laughs> basketball need needs help. a guard, man. We yeah. need some help. No, maybe if <laughs> you Instagrammed a video of you uh, like double pump uh, dunking or something a while back, a couple months ago, right? Yeah. That was pretty good. No, that was just a show off. I'm actually not very good at basketball. If I'm going to play basketball, it's got to be uh, – 
just a little street ball and I'm playing as the big man. All right? I'm, I, I don't really have a shot, unfortunately. I, I've always wished I had one, but I don't, so I, it might not be my job right there. We played a little bit last year because in the Mitch Matthews commercial, oh, yeah. you came and hung out. You guys didn't let me dunk, though. That's the thing. Yeah, are you going to are you gonna of, jump over no, me no, and dunk see, this year? I can't year? do it because I wasn't invited last year. I was just going to get someone else, and I'll just go in the back and I'll just Nick's, clap again. Nick's bitter, man. Nick's he wasn't got an invited. agenda. <laughs> Nick Kurtz uh, has an agenda. Shoot. Yeah. No, I just love, I, I like doing anything. That's why I came out to this. You know, when they told me to come out here, I was like, of course, you know, I go see my guys, even though, they, even though they don't usually invite me, I'll, I'll come up here and say what's up to them. <laughs> this guy, oh my God. Thank you for extending us the hand of mercy. <laughs> what mercy? And gracing us with your presence today. Uh, Five senior wide receivers this year, and with a new offense pro style, new offense coordinator, Ty Detmer, how do you see your role changing and developing in your senior year? Yeah, well, for me, it's going to be completely different because last year, you know, we already had – uh, a lot of experienced seniors and so we were just rotating like crazy in this offense and because everyone got tired but with this new offense you know I kind of get a chance to uh, really slip into that senior role and try to be a leader and then the cool part is that in the pro style offense this is what I ran when I was in junior college a little Hail Mary right there <laughs> uh, this is what I ran in junior college so I got to uh, I got to experience this um, where you get to go in the huddle I can't focus when I'm watching that. You know, you guys are playing. We just, showed, we just showed your fourth down conversion against Nebraska. I ran back into that guy for no reason. I should have scored right there. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't yeah, score. I don't know. But you so. set up Dale Mary, you know? Okay, back to what I was saying. Yeah, with the pro style offense, it's cool for me because we get to go in this huddle and I get to go be uh, on the strong side. So, you know, whether that's the right side or the left side, I'll be rotating in on both sides uh, throughout the entire game, which we didn't get to do in the last offense because it's just no huddle. And then it's cool when you get in a huddle and you're talking to your teammates, you know, every play, like, hey, you know, let's go get this. Like, let's make this happen. You know, sometimes we'll get in the huddle and be like, hey, in, in spring ball, we'd be like, hey, man, we got Michigan State. You know, we got Mississippi State. Let's focus up. You know, we got to be ready for those games. So it's cool to just be able to communicate with you guys like that. Maybe if you had scored a touchdown against Nebraska, we yeah. would have had you in the studio. That, no, that's earlier. definitely what it was. <laughs> yeah. That's what it had to be. <laughs> We're going to hit legends, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so fantastic. That's that's another great story we should bring up. So the Hail Mary, you're in the end zone. Um, are, when that ball's in the air, are, were you thinking, hey, Here's I need mine. to come and make yeah, a play on yeah, it? Yeah, um, def I think that we were all in that mindset where, like, I have to go make this play. You know, it was me, Taryn, and Mitch, and I'm sure everyone else was like, this has to be my ball, otherwise it's not going to get caught. And so I'm running downfield, and the ball's coming at me, and I'm kind of in the back of the end zone. But this was actually a play that we had set up where I run the back of the end zone, Taryn gets the middle, and uh, Mitch runs the front. And so it wasn't a mistake the way that it worked out because what happened was is me and Taryn are kind of in the back, and we pull the defense back a little bit, and I try to fight for the ball, but they just start grabbing you and pushing you. And then I just see the ball flying. I was like, oh, game over. And the next thing you know, I see just number 10 going in and grabbing that ball with two to three, four defenders, whatever it was on him. And then when he landed – I still like, I was like, okay, there's no way that happened. And then I'm looking, I'm like, he's not in the end zone because he was barely in the end zone. He was just, the ball was across. So I'm sitting there like, there's no way. And then I turn and I'm like excited, but then I see the ref put his hands up. And that's when I jumped on him. I was like, we're legends. We're legends. <laughs> and Taryn goes and hugs the ref. And that was like the craziest, no doubt, the craziest moment of my life for sure. Unfortunately, you're the odd man out in that situation because Taryn is known for the hug. Oh, yeah. Mitch will be known for the catch. Yeah. And then who was that other guy again? Yeah, no, it's five, Nick no Kurtz. Don't catch. forget. You can be the <laughs> Legends Nick. guy, right? Uh, Kurtz. Yeah, go well, on. You can be the that. legends guy. Yeah, it's me and Mitch joke around because th that was I had a really good game that game, and like it just went. No one ever remembered it. No one cares. You had it's the 53-yard <laughs> catch in the first half. Yeah. You had the fourth down conversion. Yeah, yeah, it was really. Uh, cool. Well, yeah, it, it was. It was. I think it was the most yards I had all season. 123. Was, was that? Yeah. Was that what it was? It's, yeah, you got. It's it. true. I just remember the hail mary <laughs> and Adam Hine's draw yeah. play on. Third down or that was whatever. Nick Kurtz had yeah. 123 yards receiving <laughs> against <it> Nebraska. <laughs> That's funny. No, Mark that good down, though. Hey, man. I'm just glad to be part of that game and our whole team, and that was such a fun time. Just a great experience. CBS Sports ranked BYU's schedule approaching the fourth most difficult in the entire country. And I know that's one uh, station or website or man's opinion, if you will, but what do you think about the challenge that awaits you because you just mentioned, hey, we got Michigan State, we got Mississippi State, we got Boise State, we got Utah, Arizona, yep. UCLA. What do you think about that? Um, for me, it's it's awesome because this is a great chance for us to go make big plays against big teams. And when we're doing that, it puts you out on you know big time TV, and that's what we need. You know, I, we don't want to you know go against some teams that you know we think we're going to smash. I, it's good. Let's be the underdogs and let's go out and win games, and let's have confidence out there. And when you're doing that, you're making statements, and it will always give you a chance to get back into the ranking game because you know that's kind of what happened to us this last year. We we won you know our first two games, and then we lost those second two, and it was tough to just climb back into the rankings after that. But here it's going to be like you know we got. 
game in, game out, and you're always staying focused. You're always ready to go. So I'm excited for it for sure, and it's going to be on film for uh, the scouts to see all of us. So it'll be a good thing. Just make sure you're in tight at Mazir. Hey, coach, throw me the ball. <laughs> throw, throw me the ball. Uh, I, I already give him enough stuff about that. So. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you back on, man. Can we do this again soon? I don't know. You know, honestly, like, <laughs> you know, this might be the one and only. <laughs> He's throwing it back in the face uh, now. Oh my God. I'd love to come back whenever you guys are, uh, whenever you're open. Yes, we need, we need to do this again. Legends. <laughs> I love it. Nick Kurtz, senior wide receiver for BYU Football in Studio B, and we need you to sign our stretch Y flag, my friend. Let's go. I Give haven't it. signed our flag, the Y, the big Y that we, that we carry out in the field. You haven't you signed haven't? that? No, are are you even invested in this hurt. program, Listen, Nick? When I was hurt, it just, that's just what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have him sign our stretch wide there flag. Hey, this is a hard thing yeah, put it right in the center so you can find it easy. Well, why do you have to put it in the hole? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Listen, we don't we don't have Power Five money for a Power Five oh set, dude. This is indie money, bro. <laughs> Complaining about the backdrop. No, I know it's, it's it's not the most conducive for for uh, autographs. But Nick, again, it's great to talk to you, man. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Appreciate it.